You made the ebbing channel dry While Israel passed the flood Where did the church begin their joy And triumph in their God? Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, November the 20th. <clears throat> it's the 26th week after Pentecost and week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 109 and 1st Maccabees chapter 3, verse 42 to 60. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, hold not your peace, O God of my praise. Alleluia, Psalm 109. Alleluia, hold not your peace, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They surround me with words of hatred and fight against me without a cause. In return for my love, they are my adversaries while I pray for them. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Send a wicked and a corrupt judge against them and let them be falsely accused. When they shall be judged, let them be condemned and let their appeal be denied. Let their days be few, and let others take their office. Let their children be orphans, and their spouses widowed. And let their children be vagabonds and beggars. Let them seek their bread in desolate places. Let creditors take all they have, and let the strangers take the fruit of their labor. Let none extend mercy to them, and let there be none to favor their orphan children. Let their sons and daughters be destroyed, and in the generation following, blot out their names. Remember the iniquity of their fathers, and retain the sins of their mothers. Let their sin be always before you, that you may remove their memory from the earth, because they did not show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy, and killed the brokenhearted. As they loved cursing, so let curses come to them. As they delighted in not giving blessings, so let blessings be far from them. As they clothed themselves with cursing like a garment, so let curses come into their bowels like water and like oil into their bones. <clears throat> let curses be like garments which cover them and a belt that they cannot remove. Let this be the reward my accusers receive from God for them that speak evil against me. But deliver me, O God, for your name's sake, because you love me. Rescue me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I fade away like the shadow in the evening. I am shaken off like the locust. My knees are weak from fasting, and my body is thin and gaunt. I have become a reproach to them. When they looked upon me, they shook their heads. Help me, O Most High, my God. Save me according to your mercy, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, God, have done it. Let them curse me, but you will bless me. When they rise against me, let them be put to shame. Then your servant will rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame. Let them cover themselves with their own confusion, as with a cloak. And I will greatly praise you with my mouth. I will praise you among the multitude. For you shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save them from those that condemn their souls. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hold not your peace, O God of my praise. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first book of Maccabees, chapter 3, beginning at verse 42. Now when Judas and his brothers saw that misfortunes 
had increased, and that the forces were encamped in their territory. They also learned what the king had commanded to do to the people to cause their final destruction. But they said to one another, Let us restore the ruins of our people and fight for our people and the sanctuary. And so the congregation assembled to be ready for battle and to pray and ask for mercy and compassion. Jerusalem was uninhabited like a wilderness. Not one of her children went in or out. The sanctuary was trampled down and aliens held the citadel. It was a lodging place for the Gentiles. Joy was taken from Jacob. The flute and the harp ceased to play. Then they gathered together and went to Mizpah opposite Jerusalem because Israel formerly had a place of prayer in Mizpah. They fasted that day, put on sackcloth and sprinkled ashes on their heads and tore their clothes. And they opened the book of the law to inquire into those matters about which the Gentiles consulted the likeness of their gods. And they also brought the vestments of the priesthood and the first fruits and the tithes, and they stirred up the Nazarites who had completed their days. And they cried aloud to heaven, saying, What shall we do with these? Where shall we take them? Your sanctuary is trampled down and profaned, and your priests mourn in humiliation. Here the Gentiles are assembled against us to destroy us. You know what they plot against us. How will we be able to withstand them if you do not help us? And then they sounded the trumpets and gave a loud shout. And after this, Judas appointed leaders of the people in charge of thousands and hundreds and fifties and tens. Those who were building houses or were about to be married or were planting a vineyard or were faint hearted, he told to go home again, according to the law. And then the army marched out and encamped to the south of Emmaus. And Judah said, Arm yourselves and be courageous. Be ready early in the morning to fight with these Gentiles who have assembled against us to destroy us and our sanctuary. It is better for us to die in battle than to see the misfortunes of our nation and of the sanctuary. But as his will in heaven may be, so shall he do. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Defend us, O God, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. In your tender love, deliver us, O God, from those who falsely accuse us, and comfort our aching hearts. Let us always remember the poor and needy, and may we ever sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. 
Alleluia.